Welcome back to Chamber Exchange, a TV show for our final segment. I want to thank Bank Hometown, who helps make this show happen. And uh, pleased to have with us in our final segment, Evelyn Darling, who is the Executive Director of the Downtown Worcester Business Improvement District. Evelyn, welcome. Thank you so much. So business improvement districts are, you know, a relatively new concept that have kind of blossomed across the country. Um, and, you know, the WBDC, Worcester Business Development Corporation, led an effort uh, which was supported by City Hall and, and the, the Chamber and others to kind of bring together uh, businesses and organizations in, in the downtown. And uh, maybe you can kind of talk a little bit about that, that and, and, you know, your involvement, what, it, what a bid does and, and what you're doing. Yeah, sure. So, like you said, business improvement districts are somewhat of a new um, concept, I guess, at least in Massachusetts, yeah, maybe yeah. not across the country, but definitely in Massachusetts. And it's, it's a way for... Um, an area to provide supplemental services beyond like what a municipality does right. to really bring a district, um, a downtown district, like to the next level. Um, and so here, like you mentioned, WBDC was really at the forefront of looking at downtown, especially when the Hanover Theater was created. Like, okay, we have this wonderful theater, we have the DCU Center, um, but we need more. We need right. connections. We need like we need downtown to be cleaner, safer, more vibrant, you know, how can we bring Some more people? Programming. Programming, oh, right. you know, and there's been this long sought goal to have an 18 hour downtown. And so the idea of the Business Improvement District was just to take downtown to the next level, to help sustain that momentum that was already here um, with pri you know, the city and private property owners and developers um, and take downtown to the next level. And so a group of property owners downtown formed together to create the Business Improvement District. And it's actually created and funded by the property owners within the district. And so they led this effort a number of years ago and were very successful and created the Business Improvement District, um, which has set boundaries um, centered around the Worcester Common. And we formed about four years ago. Um, so we've been in operation now for almost four years and we're doing things like our ambassador program where we have local people, um, Worcester residents, mm -hmm. who work downtown uh, five to seven days a week depending on the season and they're out there like day in, day right. out, cleaning the streets, you know, removing graffiti, cleaning up trash. Um, we also do programs like we brought the flowers to downtown, right, right. you know, and it's amazing. Like flowers these, on on the uh, light posts, right? Flowers on the and light posts, and, and, and banners, and right. like you know, planters. Right. Um, so these are the kinds of things that we do: beautification efforts, place making, public art, events, and supporting events, all in the you know the mission of making downtown more vibrant, more welcoming, bringing more people downtown, and bringing more business. And, and really, you know, a credit to those businesses because, you know, if, you, if you're a property owner and you're renting out space, well, you know, you obviously want to be competitive and, and you want to, you know, attract tenants and keep them there. If you can create a, a district that's more appealing, that has an extra vibe or energy, that becomes a more uh, rentable, successful piece of property. If you're that tenant that's renting, um, you're focused on delivering a good a service. It could be, you know, retail, restaurant, it could be accounting, a law firm, or you know whatever it is. Um, you want to go to work in a place that you first and foremost feel safe, where there's activity, there's energy that's kind of interesting. And and but if you're focused on the property owner, you're building, and if you're a business focused on delivering a good a service, you don't necessarily have the time to do this on your own. And and this is a vehicle in which they can can help do that. Exactly, exactly. And we partner really closely with the city of Worcester mm -hmm. um, to help, you know, sustain downtown. Um, and like you said, you know, the business owners, the property owners, they are focused on their business, their property. And so they can't, most of them, you know, don't have <laughs> the capacity or the money, um, frankly, to, to put all that effort um, and so we're here to do that and also to make it cohesive right. and to make a district feel like a destination mm -hmm. and attract people. And we're seeing that now, yeah. you know, with this steady influx of businesses locating downtown um, from IT firms to new restaurants, new retail. Mm -hmm. 
um, downtown is really becoming appealing and attractive and a place where businesses want to locate. And, and increasingly a neighborhood, which is it, it once was. People don't always re kind of remember that before the Galleria in terms of you know some of the Worcester history, but it was a downtown in and of itself. And, and as the downtown reconnects with some of the abutting neighborhoods, you kind of create uh, you know, an in, in intersection for neighborhoods. And if downtown is is, is growing that that benefits uh, you know the, the particular neighborhoods around it as well right exactly and and we're seeing more development and more residents you know going to be coming into downtown um, which is exactly what we want to see and and having people like you said you know connections between neighborhoods um, and being sa you know feeling safe to go from downtown to the canal district mm -hmm. and with polar park opening um, and opened we're seeing a lot of people right. come downtown they park downtown and they walk um, and so we want to make that an inviting, welcoming place right. that when people come to Worcester, they have a really positive impression. That's, yeah, that, that, that's right. And, you know, these businesses participate by contributing in a little bit more financially uh, into, into the, you know, pooling their resources, if, we, your will, if you will, to fund your position, some of the others, to kind of organize this work, you know, year round and on a daily, daily basis. And in particular, there's something coming up called the, the Worcester Winter Festival. That's you right. Talk about yeah, that? yeah, sure. So we've done a number of planning efforts. We've done a lot of engagement of the community and folks want more activities downtown. Um, and especially during the winter, mm -hmm. you know, there, there are a lot of things on the common and around downtown in the summer, um, but not during the winter. So we said, all right, this is where we're gonna help um, and make a difference. And so timed with the Olympics last year, we did um, a festival, we called it the Woo Olympics. It was great, yeah, uh, a yeah. lot of people came out. Um, and so we're building on that success and we're gonna have our second annual winter festival. It is Saturday, February 4th from one to three. Mm -hmm. And this year we're gonna have a lot more things. So come downtown, right. there's curling, um, you know, uh, art, um, Creative Hub has their mobile art van. They'll be there. Um, ice sculptures. Right. Skating on the... Uh, Skating, uh, right. of and course. It, and it looks like uh, we're finally going to get some snow and so yeah. that we may have a nice nice covering and a, to add to that winter festival feel. Exactly. Yeah. And then the city you know, does its part by maintaining a base level and you, you enhance it beyond that. That's right. Right. That's right. Uh, and so this is sponsored by this, the Worcester Winterfest run by the bid is sponsored by and uh, our presenting sponsor is Peroni Landscaping okay. um, who does a lot of yep. services t for us and other properties downtown um, and then we have a lot of sponsors um, and it's also we're um, helping to support Woof Fridge right. which is a community based um, food program and there is a fridge based downtown within our district on Portland Street okay. um, where people can just come and bring food people can come take food and so people who come down to the winter festival and then they bring a canned or um, non-perishable item um, will get to skate for free and a little free hot chocolate free hot chocolate as well that's great yeah uh, so if people want to learn more about the bid the activities that you run year-round and particularly the upcoming Worcester Winter Festival Evelyn how can they learn more yeah so our website is downtownworcester.org we've got all the information there and we're on social media good too. that's good and easy downtownworcester.org yeah well Evan Darling uh, the executive director of the downtown Worcester Business Improvement District thanks for being with us and the important work you do every day and your team Thank you so much. And thank you, our viewers, for being with us and Bank T Hometown for being with us on this edition of Chamber Exchange, the TV show.